BNP, which stands for B-type natriuretic peptide, is a hormone that your heart makes. More BNP and anti-pro-BNP are made when the pressure inside the heart goes up. In heart failure, pressure in the heart raises. So, when heart failure starts or gets worse, levels go up. When heart failure is stable, levels go down. Heart failure and other heart problems may be linked to anti-pro-BNP levels. Most of the time, people with heart failure have higher BNP and anti-pro-BNP. People with congestive heart failure may have several symptoms, such as swelling and trouble breathing. But these signs can also be caused by other diseases besides heart failure. BNP and anti-pro-BNP tests can help determine if a patient's symptoms are caused by heart failure or something else. People who have already been diagnosed with congestive heart failure may also be checked out with BNP and anti-pro-BNP tests. In these cases, tests may be given to determine how bad the disease is and how it is likely to progress. If you have signs of heart failure, your doctor may give you a BNP or anti-pro-BNP test. If you've already been told you have heart failure, your doctor might give you a test to learn more about it. These are the main signs of heart failure, trouble breathing or trouble getting in a fair. Legs, ankles or stomach swelling. Fatigue. You need to give a blood sample for a BNP or anti-pro BNP test. You can get this blood sample from a vein in your arm. In an emergency, a small needle can be used to prick your finger to get a blood sample for quick testing. BNP and anti-pro BNP test results provide different values. Most of the time, doctors use anti-pro BNP testing to monitor heart failure patients. To prepare for the test, you don't have to fast or do anything else. Based on the reference range, an average level of anti-pro BNP is less than 125 pg per milliliter for people between 0 and 74 years old. Less than 450 pg per milliliter for people between the ages of 75 and 99. The following levels of anti-pro BNP could mean you have heart failure. Patients under 50 years old with more than 450 pg per milliliter. Patients 50 and older should have more than 900 pg per milliliter levels. In addition, other health conditions can cause anti-pro BNP levels to be elevated. Examples of these conditions include kidney failure. Pulmonary hypertension is high blood pressure in the arteries that bring blood to the lungs. Sepsis is an extreme response to infection. Your BNP and anti-pro BNP levels can also be affected by your age, sex, body weight, and genes. Because of this, your doctor will look at your lab reference range and age when determining your test result.